we back in the kitchen again. Uh, the little woman got her first deer yesterday, so we're gonna have some fried deer heart uh, to go with the leftovers from Thanksgiving. So y'all stick around, I'm gonna show you how to get her done. Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna break it down for you how we uh, fixed the fried deer heart. Last night we got it in, um, maybe an hour and a half from the time the deer was standing in the food plot to the time the heart was on the kitchen counter getting it all sliced up ready to go. Uh, slice it up real thin like you would a backstrap, like you're gonna fry it. And of course, anybody that knows organ meat knows it's a thick, red, very oxygenated meat. But I break it down, slice it down. We're talking right here, a little over a quarter inch. And on this heart, put it in a Tupperware or a bowl, rinse it with water four or five times, and then I put about a tablespoon of sea salt in there and kind of make a cold water brine for it, let it set overnight. So it kind of turns from that real dark red purpley kind of meat and uh, really cleans it out and tenderizes it up. And then what I do for my egg wash, I take about a cup of milk, about a tablespoon of Louisiana hot sauce, and one egg. And then whip it up real good. And then for the batter, I use about a cup of flour. And I put uh, about a tablespoon of garlic powder and onion powder in there, about a tablespoon of black pepper, and about a half a tablespoon of salt. And just whip it up with a fork real good and then you're going to throw it in that egg wash and then you're going to batter it with that flour and then we're going to throw it on the grease in the skillet we're going to give it about a minute and a half two minutes on each side you don't want to overcook it that organ may get tough old boot leather you overcook it and try to eat it so about a minute and a half two minutes on each side is all it's going to take give that batter a little bit of crunch when you bite into it and everything's going to be real tender so we're fixing to hit the grease with it and then we're going to show y'all the finished product Y'all stick around. Oh, oh, and Mark, I know I ain't no pioneer woman, but thanks for watching anyway, brother. See ya. video yeah the kitchen window is still open got a little wood line right there so looking to whack another one and uh, we put put some deer in the freezer this year my youngest boy killed two and then a little woman killed a uh, killed one yesterday and I killed a big old buck uh, deer muzzleloader and uh, yeah the freezers is full but I tell you what uh, it's easy to find a place to donate deer we got some families at church that uh, this doe's gonna go to. And we've even got a, a woman's shelter that uh, we're gonna take a bunch of meat to. And we, we're still in the middle of the season right here. Our season don't end until January 15th. Uh, so we put any more deer on the ground. We just take them to Weaver's Meat Market there in Poto. He process them up, cook, cut it however you want it. Uh, even make it some good old summer sausage too. Uh, but I just pay him for the process and then we, we take it and donate it. So we're getting all this plated up. So y'all keep uh, keep watching as we roll in here. And uh, the little woman that killed this deer, old Stephanie, she behind the camera right there. We're gonna film her and her first bite ever of deer heart. Y'all stick around. All right, we got the deer heart all fried up. My mouth is watering. Right there it is, all plated up. There's a the little woman that killed a deer. Now she gonna try the deer heart from the deer that she killed. Just put it all in the mouth, woman. That's good. See, mm -hmm. she's speechless. She's speechless. Pretty good. Is it worth eating another piece? Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. In the kitchen again. Getting her done redneck style. So, I hope y'all like this video. Go ahead and watch all the rest of them. We're trying to get this sucker up and rolling. So, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you again. Y'all keep living your best God-led redneck life.